Uh, this is Carlos. I'm back. I'm in East Orange, and we're about to talk with Abe about um, intentional community, specifically one he's trying to build in both Newark, and it might have a Sussex component, um, so two site components. So Abe is going to tell us more about what type of intentional community it is and some of the goals and aspirations of it. Sure. Thanks. So yeah. w welcome, and thanks for welcoming me here. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm part of a group that's starting two communes, um, one in Newark, one in Sussex County, and they're sister communities to each other, working collectively together. Um, we have a sustainability focus and social justice focus, and um, it's kind of the idea of community as family, where mm -hmm. every, everyone pulls together the resources. And Speaking of family. Yeah. <laughs> Tobias is back and yes. we're playing cards. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're deep in a the game there. All right. Yes. <laughs> I think Tobias has won. So, um, yeah. Um, we, we are a multi generational, uh, multi ethnic community. And, um, we have been doing the visioning work for somewhat a while now, and we're about to change into the next phase of welcoming in more organizers who, uh, and uh, going into the business planning and site planning stage. So depending on how big that group is, it'll de you know, that will determine how big each community will be. We're hoping for large sizes, but we'll see what our collective finances are for getting it started. But yeah, I mean, with intentional communities, there's all different types. There's eco-villages, co-housing communities, communes. We're, um, we're on the spectrum of like, like having your own house, your own car, your own, your own plot of land that you purchase to communal. We're on the very communal side of sharing most of everything, which makes it much more um, efficient in um, costs mm -hmm. and in work. And it makes it much more accessible. It's you know you don't have to have anything when you join a commune that has community businesses already. So it's very welcoming to people with low income, basically yeah, exactly. in that You're way too. You're definitely contributing something, but you don't have to buy into it. There's no okay. Money. Okay. Um, so you're you're contributing your income. You're contributing your work, but um, you know it's very ex economically accessible to anyone. Yeah. And um, so it's it's good for social justice work, anti-property work, service work. It's a really it's a really good model in that way, and it's also is good ecologically. Like Twin Oaks in Virginia, uh, they have about ten percent of the average um, carbon footprint. You know, wow. it's just just by sharing. They don't they never actually put sustainability in their mission statement when they found when they were founded, but just by the amount that they um, produce themselves and how much they share among each other. Um, they don't consume much, they don't waste much, and they have, and they are off the grid, so um, they are really low carbon footprint just by being communal. So they're very sustainable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so we're kind of like in the eco-village realm. Um, eco-village is like, I mean, there's like two different definitions. There's just a village that is more ecological, and there's one that has multiple like categories and one of them would be like you have multiple initiatives that are separate. We don't have multiple initiatives that are separate. We're all pulling all of it together. Multi, you know, multiple businesses that people can work in or work outside of the um, commune and separate businesses. But um, but you know, but by one definition, you could call us an eco village commune. You know. Okay. Yeah. It's, um, I've been working on it for a while. We. Hope to do the first stage of it this year of, of moving in together, and by next year starting the larger commune. Um, so that's that's the plan at the, at, the, at the moment. And is there um, is there a name to it? I, I know is our community for a while. Are you going to wait and see with, yeah, with the name? Yeah, that's a placeholder name. Yeah, we, okay. we haven't decided. Would, on the which is name. fine because more people will come, and yeah, it'll, you want to you want everybody out of it. They might have a say in the name, and yeah. uh, they might name. It after the place we settled into, so okay, you know we could, in there we could sell. We could take an old warehouse and renovate that. We could take an old large house and renovate that apartment building. Or we could take a 
mm. um, shut down the public housing neighborhood if it's really large, you know, mm -hmm. um, depending on um, zoning, size, lots of things. So we've been, definitely been looking around at our possibilities, but in the farm community, we'll either have like one like monastery or apartment style, <coughs> where everyone has their own unit, and then there's com community space, or we will have like lots of different like natural building cottages that are separate. But yeah, <coughs> we're moving into that stage of site planning. All right, very good. Um, yeah, and anything else you'd like to add or? Yeah, I don't know. That's a um... uh, yeah. I mean, keep, we're on Facebook, at, you know, our community, um, and okay. we're oh, so it's the same one that from um, the Andover days. Then or yep. from, okay, because then I'll I'll include that on the Facebook page. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah I didn't know and, if that was still yeah. yeah. Okay, and um, yeah, we'll be having some events soon, um, with some presentations where people can find out more and see if they're interested in joining. The next phase will be less work than some of the previous stages. So mm -hmm. if you're into the idea of being part of it and having some say, but not having all the work of getting something like this started, then this next phase is good. Okay. Good. So yeah, it might be a good time. Yeah. I, I know that there's been a lot of groundwork done and laid that, uh, exactly right. that Nicole was explaining. Exactly you know, right. So, um, Okay, great. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. You know, what you're doing is really important. It's a really important part to living local and being carless. Uh, Twin Oaks, they have, uh, as the example that Abe brought up there, they have per person, they each have like a quarter of a car, like equivalent, and they, they right. use it yeah. very like infrequently. A dozen, a dozen cars for like 110 people. A dozen. Wow. So it's even, they it's even less. When they, yeah, yeah, when they call carpool, when they go off to the city or... Yeah. If I wanted groceries and you wanted groceries and he wanted groceries, then we just put it on a list and there's one buyer that goes out and buys yeah. groceries. So, so, so it's the, way more, less time on the road. Much yeah. less time on the road. And right. they produce a lot of their own food. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Thanks yeah. a lot, Dave. Yep. All right.